Hello there ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lord Exus and I want to welcome you all back to Wolfson, Lords of Mayhem. This of course is going to be episode 3, I did say I'd carry this game on and I fully intend to do that. So a few things to go over before we start the episode. Number one is the fact that I have to apologise for the last episode, the fact I fell through the scenery and got stuck for a little while. Uh, I know, not particularly my fault, but hey, that's the way these things go sometimes. And the other thing is, I wrongly stated, and some of you, um, maybe all of you picked up on this, that uh, if we just go into here, that my skills, that I was picking up other skills, mage or magic based skills, and I stated, oh, they're not for us, they're for a mage. However, we in fact do have wisdom to use, sorry, wisdom, not wisdom, willpower to use. Therefore, we can technically use those. You are not class locked in this game. So I could have in fact placed them on my character and used them. I'm not going to do that. But I thought I would correct that. The same goes with armor and weapons as well. Although I do, I think I have like rogue-ish uh, trousers on. Uh, I, I didn't make that very clear that you can in fact use them. So that's what I wanted to go through. Anyway, I'm ready to move on. And I think you guys are as well. We got into the severe cave network in the last episode. We're going to go back in there and we're going to cause all sorts of hell. Before we do that, I'm just going to check. Yes, no, we are fine for everything. Yeah, we are up to date and ready to go. So let's do this thing. Uh, we're in the tributes chamber. Okay. Okay, and this is where we left it, I think. I actually can't remember. It's been a few days since I've actually recorded a video for Walson. So uh, I think this is where I left it. I hope so anyway. If not, uh, we'll just go back to the map. Also, the other thing I wanted to quickly mention is, you guys may now notice, as I did with episode 2, that I in fact start uh, the video from straight in the game in the city. And the reason for that is I don't want you guys to have to wait through a massive loading screen while I ramble on. Nothing but absolute nonsense. So anyway, I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's do this thing. Yeah, we'll get all the shinies. We'll collect the uh, absolute trash because why not? Oh, the severe cave network number two. Okay, so we have to find the den. Okay. Avoiding those puddles of poison all we can because that will just erode straight through us. Ooh, not such a good idea there. That could have been nasty. Okay, come here you. Stop screeching at me. These guys are a little bit damage spongy for uh, our old warrior Silas here, but uh, it doesn't matter so much. Okay, let's have a little look around then. Awesome, what do we have here? Ah, scarf. Not so much into that right now. Or oh, the studded leather tunic. Again, I could equip them. They're made for any class, so to speak. Oh, this is going to get nasty real quick. Okay. And those enemies over there are, <laughs> are stuck on the uh, stuck on the scenery. <laughs> and they're fucking gone. Okay. Okay, I had to use my potion here twice then, but some re oh, I leveled up. Did I level up? No, I didn't level up. Interesting. Maybe the red health globe on the ground refreshed them. Didn't know that was a thing, but still learning, guys, still learning. What have we got here? Oh, a gunslinger's brand. Again, we could use this. I'm not going to, because uh, I'm just not. Ooh, we have a great, uh, great sword, two-handed then. What else did we pick up here? Ah... Some masterwork greaves. Okay, I'll give us some more toughness. 
but we do lose some health but we gain resilience or resistance we're gonna put those on put those bad boys on okay fantastic uh, okay looks like we're going up this way Ooh, looks like soul magic has been used here and of course I was right come at me ghosties Nice. These guys are fast, these little bastards. Shadow serpents. And they do get even faster. They're actually quite nasty. Okay, that bit's cleared. Moving on. Awesome, awesome. I do like the way how the Anvil of Woe and uh, the Wings of Ishmir, to a lesser extent, just sends things flying. Okay. That's better. Okay, nothing around here then. Just gotta check it all out. Oh. Where's that coming from? Oh, right there. Nice. See, these little buggers are fast. Oh, so many of them. You little shits. You can't take on Silas. Do you know who I am? Okay. That guy just uh, phased through me. They obviously have the ability to alter reality. Oh, totally missed. They were coming for me while I was coming for them. Ah, oh, chunks. It's what we like to see. Okay, nice, nice. Hopefully sooner rather than later we get a few more warrior or strength-based abilities. I'd like that. Ah, oh, just all of the, all of the damage. Oh, shit. Now that looked fucking awesome. It looked impressive. I know it was just pure luck that I leveled up at the time, but it looked good. Okay, let's see what we're going for here. So I'm going to smash some ferocity and we're going to go up to 80 toughness. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do nicely. Fantastic. As you can see, guys, I'm not really spending too much time uh, worrying about what's going on. I probably should be, but I think we're going to make it to the end of the game and do okay anyway. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's just take two points down here because I want this, the heart of battle. Um, and we're probably going to finish off this whole this whole part of the Gate of Fates. And uh, maybe move up here with two points. Yeah, probably move up to the Warmonger section of the board. Nope, done that wrong again. Confirm, there we go. Fantastic. Okay, let's have a little look around here. If I tab open. So we do have two paths, but the one up to the right looks like it's a dead end, so we'll go up here first. Boom! God, it's such a shame I haven't had more time to play this game recently because I really love it. And I do love ARPGs as a, as a whole. I did start a series... As some of you may know, on Diablo 3 on this channel, but I uh, had other commitments at the time and it didn't quite, uh, ooh, we need to get out of there. Didn't quite pan out the way I wanted it. Okay, I'll just put myself back into poison because why the hell not? There we go. Let's just do a little running around, let that poison not be anywhere near us right now. And that poison, that po those poison pools those enemies t uh, put down, take a while to disappear. Oh, where are you going? Stop glitching. Oh no. He's becoming vulnerable. There we go. Okay, oh, and we get a chest. Let's just uh, get some of this stuff over here first. Yeah, nice, nice. Just more gold. The more gold, the better. 
And we've got a herd. Oh, we are. We are out of room. Is there anything else we can equip? Ooh. Quick draw lever band. 8% critical chance score. Have we got any? Because this is the thing I kept missing out. Kept uh, accidentally just being like selling all of my belts in the last episode. We also have a war hammer. That's two handed. So I'm not going to equip that right now. We also have a war axe. That's 5 to 12 damage. That actually kicks the shit out of the morning star. But not the sword. But I kind of like my extra little bit of stats on that so i'm gonna forgo that for now i know people are already screaming at me but uh yeah i am gonna forgo that i'm gonna take the hood to sell uh, okay let's uh, just port back to the city for a while fantastic oh a little bit of pop there a little bit of jank there's uh there's always time for a little bit of jank okay mojave my man so I thought I could shift click. I did just try that. Oh, shouldn't have sold that jewel. Oh well. Still got plenty. Before we get the socketed items. Okay, and we'll take that to uh, Dementra or whatever her name is down here. Demetra. Um, yeah, and sell that. And that increases, of course, our primordial affinity. I think I called that by the wrong name in the last episode as well so more more apologies i should be paying more attention okay let's get back to the sphere cave network fantastic and again pick up the trash all of the trash okay let's move on silas has work to do he has not yet done exterminating this entire race of monsters Oh, yeah, I forgot. Haven't built up enough rage yet. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, I took some more damage there. Yeah, I've really got to work on armor or having some sort of massive health regen sometime soon. If I can uh, work out how to do that. I'm a little bit stoop. Ooh. Oh. More chunks, always good. Uh, see, we have some sort of... Ooh, okay. Nice. Taken care of. Okay, and we have an elite or some sort of named enemy over here. There we go. Yeah, do not go into that. Oh, get out, get out, get out, get out. Ooh, okay. Nasty, nasty things. Just get away from that poison. Not back into it. Jesus, Silas. Come on, you're smarter than this. Oh, apparently we are not. Jesus Christ. Okay, we are severely all of the fucked up. Gah. That did not go so well for me. Got absolutely caught up in my uh, absolute shit there. No good, guys. No good at all. I apologise. Terrible, terrible gameplay. And uh, still have one-ish use in both. That's strange. Thought it took it down by 10 when you used it. Plenty of rage, though, so that's good. Just keep smacking this thing in the face. Awesome things. Lots of poison going on here. Really not a fan. Oh, these things poison as well. Fantastic. I'm going to have to play the runaround game.
There we go. Get a bit, few more heals up. Okay, we are good. That enemy is glitching the hell out. Okay. Good to go, kind of. Oops, wrong button. My bad. Yeah, it's chip, the chipped lazuli. It's awesome. And yeah, I feel like uh, I'm back to uh, back to the first episode here when I couldn't uh, couldn't play this game for shit because the second episode went really smoothly in comparison. You little flying rats. Okay, all dead. Let's pick up some stuff. Fantastic. And let's have a look at this. Okay, so there's nothing down here apart from one enemy. Bye-bye. Awesome. And again, my health potions have refilled. Maybe it is the red globes on the floor or something. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm missing something. Who knows? No, attack them. Thank you, Silas. I believe Silas has become slightly addled from all of the poison coursing through his veins. Oh, thank God. It's just ghosts. Or lost souls in this case. Although they still nearly did screw me over. Nice. Okay, that's a dead end. I thought that was the path down, but uh, yeah, those guys hanging up over there, they look uh, look like they're having fun. Looks like a treat for them. Here we go. And dealt with. You see, that's how I should be playing. But uh, anyway, let's let's move on. Ooh, something shiny. Nice. Am I wrong? Was there an enemy here? Another great sword. Could really do with an upgrade on some of these weapons and such. Ah, fantastic. And uh, we are getting very close to... Uh, oh, a champion's gird or 50, plus 50% attack. Ooh... I'm actually going to take that over the critical damage, even though it's uh, it's just a magic accessory, but we'll take that. Take standard damage over critical. Critical's nice, but uh, just need that standard damage right about now. Hello, boys. Okay, fantastic. And that other guy's just like, nope, fuck it. He is noping all of the way out. Nice. And here come the other ones. No poison. Do not like that.
Nice. Okay. Ooh, infiltrate a vest. No, that's not going to work for me. Uh, uh, no, definitely not. And again, wrong button. Okay, moving on. We are nearly ready to go down. Enter the den. And I will, but before I enter the den, we need to go and sell again. Just have a little check. Plus 70% to crit. We will have that as our other ring, since we don't have another one right now. Hmm. Interesting. Right, let's port back to town, guys. Oh, some more pop. Lovely. Servers must be a little bit slow tonight. And this time I'm not going to not going to sell the gem. You never know when you might need them. So we'll go across to the uh, personal chest. Let's plop that sucker in there. And we'll go and sell the Enaract. Fantastic. Thank you very much. While we're here, have a little look. Uh, we still don't have enough skill points for either of our skills. Fantastic. That should, uh, that should do it. Okay, let's enter the den and watch me get my ass kicked. So that's where the giant one is hiding. His challengers got fried alive. Nice. And they were the big boys. Okay, let's see how this goes, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. That one is scary. Jeebus! Uh, at least it's fire, not quite poison this time. Till he brings his little buddies here. Oh, I am stuck again. Fantastic. Get out, get out. Oh, and we're down. We're down. Get him back up, though. All of the poison. Okay. And we are down again. Let's try this one more time because we are nearly there. And bring it home. There we go. Okay. I wish Val had heard that one. Jesus, I wish he was here to hear that one as well because, uh, yeah, we went down twice. So uh, one more time and I would have been absolutely fucked. Okay, let's see what we picked up. Something nice. So we have a sorcerer's epaulette. Which is, uh, yeah, it gives us some four shield, but, you know, it's actually pretty shit for me. 
Uh, we do have a masterwork arm plate, which will replace one of these two bad boys. Uh, they're both the same, apart from that one's three resistance, so we're going to put that one on. Uh, we have a waistcoat, again, for a sorcerer. A little bit shitty for me. Um, a crystal catalyst, also shitty for me. And a sapphire ring, which gives us plus 22 lightning resistance score. And a lot of stuff to do with spells. So everything I got was basically mage related. Although we do get a goldstone amulet. So that can go in there. And that actually gives me plus 13 toughness. So that's handy. And plus 4.9 regeneration. So that's something. And something. I could come back and fight this boss another time. And uh, deal with that. And we also leveled up to level 9 guys. So... Quick look at this. We're going to increase my toughness all the way up to 100 and then just a little bit more in ferocity. Fantastic. Because I feel like I'm not staying alive uh, enough right now. And that's uh, that's just been proven by that. Okay, I'm going to give myself uh, the heat of battle. Fantastic. We also have plus 7% rage cost reduction and another skill exactly the same. Another passive is exactly the same. Right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to head up here and go to Warmonger. We just need one more, and then we're into the Warmonger Tree. Fantastic. Beautiful. And at next level, we are roughly halfway through all of the levels we can achieve. So we are we are absolutely done here. There is nothing else to do. We need to fast port back. Uh, Silas looking a little beaten and bruised from that, and I'm a little bit disgruntled because I got absolutely fuck all in terms of really, really useful gear. Uh, so we're going to report to uh, Thunderblade Farand in Stormfall using our town portal. Absolutely fantastic. Now, the gear I've got... It's not worth much to sell, to be fair. Might just stick it in the old chest for a rainy day. Uh, it's not that useful. Even though it's mage stuff, I already am wearing better things with my, uh, with my mage currently. Or my magic user, sorry. I keep saying mage. Anyway, we have to go report... And it's to this man over here. Look who's here. <laughs> I must say, I'm impressed, soldier. You should be. When Sandor told me you single-handedly saved the farmlands, <laughs> I couldn't quite believe it. But here you stand, victorious. Glad I could help. I'll be on my way now. What? Nonsense. Everyone is talking about the hero who stopped the sphere, including the merchant prince himself. He actually wants to reward you in person. I'm not sure it's a good idea. I would rather keep away from honors. Declining our ruler's invitation is not an option. Go to the palace. The guards will let you in. Okay, so we can't decline the merchant prince Damascus's orders. Um, or being given honors by him. So we have to go, we have to go. We know why we're trying to keep a low profile, of course, because we are part of the purifiers, or were. So, um, yeah, we have to go do this now. So we're going to go see no King Damascus. Time, this guy, not, right here. But, 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 but there must be a mistake. Check the bees. I, I must be in the bees. Sir, could you kindly move aside? We're on the list, unlike you. I need to see the merchant okay. at once. Okay, let those so guys for keeping fight over. Profile. I agree, that Silas. Kill me. And she will kill you, Silas. Yes, she will. Let's do this. Okay, and this is the king's castle and his court. And this place is lavish as all fuck. Look at it. I'm guessing this is the known world. Oh, you imbecile. Let's start again. I mean, it's quite shiny. I don't know what the jewels represent. Oh, you can actually, can actually highlight them. Are we going to be able to steal them? They look very expensive. Uh, anyway, yeah, this place is uh, not that massive, but it is lavish as all tits. Okay, let's go and talk to to Damascus. Come forward. Meet Merchant Prince Damascus of Stormfall, keeper of the Sea Jewel, the city, and all its people. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I know why they call it the Sea Jewel now, because, uh, yeah, grandiose as fuck. Everything's made from gold and some sort of really expensive stone. Hello, King Damascus. 
On behalf of the people of Stormfall, I thank you and hereby name you the champion of the city. Mm. <clears throat> Sir? My lord. My lord, I'm glad I could help, but I would really, really like to avoid the champion thing and go back to my daily routine. Your humility honors you, champion. But smile and rejoice with us. Your bravery saved many lives. You made this a day of victory. Look, they aren't even saved. The Svereers were not attacking. They were fleeing the phenomenon from the deep. Enough! Leave us! My lord? Now! Yes, my lord. You saw the apparitions, didn't you? There's more and more of them. You have to warn your people. Not a chance. You can't keep your men in the dark. They aren't prepared for this. I am doing what's best for the city. Mass panic won't do anyone any good. I have allies studying this phenomenon. They will bring me answers. Then we shall act with what little forces we have left. Until then, keep this to yourself if you really want to help the city. Okay, so... I should meet with Val now. Yes, you should, Silas. So, King Damascus, by the way, who looks somewhat different from his uh, his little character picture when he speaks. He's obviously had a shave since then. Um, yeah, he knows something is going on, some sort of phenomena beneath the city or around the city, so he says. And uh, he doesn't want us talking about it. He knows, so he's just letting his people or his army, his military, intentionally be slaughtered by the severe. Uh, so that's the thing. Anyway, we get given a reward. So, a topaz ring, uh, aquamarine ring, or a sapphire ring. And they're all kind of based uh, relatively within magic. Uh, this one is probably going to be just for the health. Um, and the fire resistance is the one we want. Uh, I don't think it's better than either, either of what we have, although... It could replace the critical damage, I guess, with plus 15% occult damage. Um, because you don't need to be a caster to have that, so we'll put that there for now. Anyway, we need to reach the Seagull, which is a tavern here in Stormfall. So we're going to go do that. We're going to go meet Val. As if that map is made entirely of some sort of gold. It's amazing. I'm stealing them. I'm having those jewels later. Damascus is playing a dangerous game. Yes, yes he is. Stay in line if you want food. I would like some food. Let's hope she's in there. Okay, so let's enter the inn. Hello, sir. Greetings, dear customer. Deepest apologies. All our rooms are full. You should search elsewhere for accommodation. <laughs> Promptly. Yes, yes, that's not what I'm here for. Look, did you see a tall blonde woman around? A uh, tad crazy. Does that ring any bells? I haven't seen such a woman, sir. So maybe you should really look for her outside. You're acting weird. You okay? Hello? Go! Just go now! What the...? Aha! Uh -huh. You're definitely the one. I'm sorry. Oh, I and here we go. You were right. I didn't know what to do. And Alistair? Tell me, friend, why is an elite Republican assassin coming for me? We're on the same team here. Oh, there's no need to panic, friend. I'm just here to escort you back to camp. You... You two aren't going to fight, are you? You should go now. Where's Valeria? Oh, you'll see her. But right now, you drop your weapons and come with me. Where is she? Oh, you're smarter than you look. Don't make this harder than it has to be. If you don't come quietly, you'll be branded as a deserter. Then I'll have the authority to handle you. Handle me? 
You do not just handle one of the children of Hemlock. Start dancing, dead man. So be it. Okay, where is now, he? Take him down. Ah, oh, there. I'm done toying with you. Let's finish this. Okay, so this guy's got some uh got some pretty nasty daggers and moves going on here. No, not getting me with that one again. There we go. Bloody there we go. This is not good. Not good at all. Why send an Alistair for me? Something must have happened to Val. She can't be behind this. I must get through the purifiers and meet with Hemlock. Only he can set things straight. Okay, so we've got to find the Flare Outpost, which is where the Purifiers and our father, adopted father, Hemlock, was heading towards. That They were the people he was going to destroy. But before we do that, we now have a medium health potion, so let's get that one out. Put that one in. It's empty for now, that will be recharged shortly. We also picked up a Gladus, which is a normal sword, 15 to 24 damage. Fantastic. So that's what we're going to need in there. And... This still does more damage than, uh, than the Morning Star, so this can go in there. Fantastic. Absolutely beautiful. We also picked up Sovereign Scale, only usable with melee weapons. Unleash a powerful war cry which busts your attack speed and cast speed by 25% for yourself and nearby allies. Well, we're going to use that. We're going to put that into slot 4, I guess. Oh, wait. No, we're not. Being a doof, we need to learn it first, and that goes into slot 2. Uh... Uh, but I want it in slot 4 because it's a buff so something like you can just tap on I don't know how long does it last uh, rage regeneration 300 uh, the cooldown is 10 seconds oh we can use that pretty quickly actually um, now nah, 4 should be fine that will be fine anyway so we've got to go to the flyer outpost we now have a better sort of uh, healing potion uh, we also actually have a battle axe but that's two handed so that's a shame because I would very much like to use that but at least now we have a better weapon. Let's take a look at this bad boy. It's actually shorter than our, uh, our other blue sword. But we know it can do a decent amount more damage. So let's deal out that damage. Okay, let's move on. To the coast. I'm coming, Val. Actually, it's worth, before we move on, popping back in. We can't pop back in. God damn it, I should have explored more while I was in there. There's probably nothing else in there. But uh, as you can see, you are now actually locked out. So uh, that's a shame. I should have given that a bit of a tour. Okay, let's move on, guys. Before we move on, let's go. Uh, let's go sell some stuff. Our portal back to the uh, Severe's Lair is still there. We're not going to do that. We're just going to get rid of the bits we don't need. Fantastic. And we're going to move on. To the flyer outpost or as close to to it as we can get uh we try and go down here and we're blocked and uh it's to say it would have been the same for the entrance or towards the pub before but uh that is no longer the case okay so as you guys know we've been out this way before i could have actually ported close to where i need to go 
or I need to start. But we'll go past these guys. There's a few low-level trash mobs over here these guys are dealing with. Ah, oh, Sovereign Shout has leveled up. Let's actually have a look at that. Nice. And that uh, does, in fact, show us how much extra speed that gives us down here. We also picked up a Masterwork Plate Pauldron, which is 10 to all resistances and uh, plus 5 toughness. Let's have a look at this. Okay, for now, I'm going to put it on this side. Okay, so I could have just come here. Map flitted out a little bit there. Because uh, we go round and to the left this time. Yeah, fuck your pots for no particular reason. <laughs> oh, sh get shit on. Nice. Oh, didn't see those guys over there. Nice. But then again, these guys are all going to be uh, lower level than me now. Where's the other one? Here you are. Nice. Done and done. Have a quick cheeky look around, see what else there is to smash and grab. Seems to be nothing of uh, great interest right now. Oh, just that thick, thick red paste coming out of them. Ooh, some studded leather gloves. They are only leather, but one of them might be better than what I have. Not in terms of toughness. I, I thought it might be if I was lucky. Ooh, chest. Chest and also a trap. Just gonna wreck your shit right now, fella. Not about that life. You two can come over here with me. Whoa, just fucked that. Ah. So I now know what I'm deadly at. I'm deadly at absolutely wrecking fences. Awesome. Masterwork Greaves. Uh, plus two toughness, yeah. Uh, it's got less toughness, but it's better at pretty much everything else. So we're going to put those bad boys on. And we got another Epaulet. Also got a helm that is a tad better on health regeneration. Not much, not much at all. That's good. That's good. Let's just, uh... Okay, maybe not. For some reason, my uh, tab map isn't working anymore. I was going to see what's up here, but we can have a little look around. Ourselves. <laughs> oh, shit. This game, uh, kind of in a very Diablo-esque way, obviously, and like every other ARPG. When you come up against lower level mobs, lower level trash mobs, you get that massive feeling of power, of course. Because everything just turns into a fine red mist. Which, of course, is what you want if you're living out the old power fantasy. Another master, masterwork Spangenhelm. Uh, which uh, absolutely creases me up that that's the name of an item, but hey... Oh, just lots and lots of gold. Go away. Not interested. 
Okay, so I could have gone upward, but we know what is upward because the two areas linked round from the starting area when we first came here. Oh, fuck are you guys? Just spawning out of nowhere. Yeah, fuck you. That's what you get for being dicks. Absolute dicks. So you got these guys, wasn't it? Oh. Yeah, fuck you. Enter the flare outpost. Awesome, because why wouldn't I want to do that? Why wouldn't anyone want to do that? <laughs> Just watching them run into that, the anvil of woe. Or, uh, yeah, anvil's woe, sorry, I call it the anvil of woe. The anvil of woe sounds a little bit better, but, um, yeah. Just watching them run into that, just like idiots, is amazing. Uh, very, very satisfying, guys. There's more and more of them. Ooh. This is getting out of hand. The Mascus will regret not addressing this while he had the time. Jesus Christ. Got these big boys here now. Okay, you need to stop, sir. Nice. Pick up another great sword, a mace, and some fur boots. Very much doubt they'll be what I'm after, but fur boots, nope, they are not. Okay, and here we go, the flare's outpost. Behind us. Where did he? Would you bloody shut up and listen? Go check. Why me? Just go. Oh no. Coward. Edric! My, my. Look who's paying us a visit. I missed you, brother. I'm glad you survived that mess down there. So am I. You've seen Val? Edric, have you seen her? Yes. Did she talk to you? She did. She pleaded your case to me and Malis. Your strange condition, the surges of witchcraft, everything. We wanted to bring this to father, but... Malis had lost her mind after seeing you transform. Sending an Alistair to get you back, Valeria stood in her way. She's all right. Just detained for now. But Malis might want to make an example of her. She's kept with our prisoners of the Brotherhood of Dawn. Come now. We have to meet Father. Only he can keep Malis in check and make things right. Okay, okay. So we meet our, uh, our brother, Edric, and he... Still likes us. He's on our side, the same as uh, Valeria was. So, uh, yeah, but Malis, Malis, that other female captain or guard, I think she was called a Justica of the Purifiers, um, she, she was not happy. Not happy about hearing about our condition or seeing it. I can't remember she, whether she saw it or whether, she, uh, whether it was only Valeria that saw it, but then told them. But whichever way, they're not happy. They're like, yeah, blatantly. I've been excommunicated. Silas is no longer part of the Purifiers. Even though Edric clearly gives zero fucks because he's got our back. He's one of the children of Hemlock. So, uh, yeah. And now Valeria is being kept with, uh, yeah, with the others of the Brotherhood of Dawn. The people that the Purifiers have been slaughtering. So, yeah, that's not great. That's not great at all. Anyway, we'll just go quickly port back to town while we're here. So we're now here, the Flares Outpost. So we're going to port back to town. 
And it's weird because when we come back to the town, Edric is actually with us. That's uh, that's pretty cool. That's uh, like the whole henchman system from other games. You know what I'm going to say, so we'll just say other games. So yeah, the purifiers did, or Malis did send someone to kill us. Uh, it failed. We also defeated the boss, Severe, the fire breather, although that was a little bit jank, and I did go down twice, which is still more than I went down with Exus, my magic user. So that's a little bit worrying. Maybe there's something I can do with armor and weaponry and just being a better player. Uh, yeah, in the future to stop bosses absolutely raping me like that, especially with their trash mob surrounding me so I couldn't roll out the way. That was uh, a bit of an issue. Or maybe I should be better at making sure I have an exit and escape. But now uh, we went to see the King of Damascus. And uh, he's a bit of a dickhead as well, quite clearly. He knows about the problem that his people are suffering from. They don't. He does. And he uh, refuses to do anything to majorly help. And then finally we managed to go through part of the Flares outpost, or to the Flares outpost, and meet up with our brother in arms here, Edric. Uh, so yeah, that's good. However, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna leave this episode here because we, we've covered a little bit. It's been uh, mainly me fighting and fighting badly, which uh, was a bit of a problem. But uh, yeah, I wanna keep this a nice size, a nice length of video and get a decent amount of content in that's not too boring. And of course, fighting in ARPGs is never boring. But um, yeah. I am ready now to carry on in the next episode and ready to make this journey with Edric to see our father, Hemlock. But, again, leaving the video here, guys, I hope you've enjoyed yourself because I have very much enjoyed playing Walton, Lords of Mayhem. As usual, I have been your Lord... Sorry, <laughs> I have been your host, Lord Exus, and I'll see you guys in the next video. In a bit!